for good is such a long time. I think I will be here for now, but I don't know if for good. Philippines is such a good place. Philippines is my home, but for now, I'd say I love Spain. I'm in love with this, and this is my home for now. Hello everyone, this is Anthony of Access Travel and today I'm very excited to tell you my story about moving to Spain. Magsi six months na ako here in Madrid and it has been amazing. The best time of my life, you know. I really wanted to take my master program in IE. The IE tower that's so hard to find, it's not on Google Maps. So it was just a matter of time. I was just like waiting for the perfect moment to execute it because when there was access travel, it was almost impossible for me to get out. But during the pandemic, I was like, this is the perfect time to go and explore other things while travel is almost, you know, not existing. I'm over the moon as in the I'm so happy. I've been prepared for this move for such a long time. I just knew that at some point in my life, I have to do it. During COVID, I decided to execute it during a crisis because I didn't want to be unhappy anymore. Philippines is my home. I love the Philippines. I love everything. I was born and raised in the Philippines. I was telling myself, okay, kung titira na lang din ako somewhere, you know, like settling down na ito, I want to do it somewhere where I feel like I will grow, I will do everything I want to do. Bisitahin natin ang aking labada. Chos! Basta ko ba na doon natin chos na to? I knew from the very beginning, it will be always Madrid. I feel like I belong here, the lifestyle, the food, you know, how people live their life. They're so tranquila, you know, relaxed. First hike outside Madrid. So beautiful. I think for me, visa processing is not truly really difficult if you have your complete documents and a purpose, you know. People get denied when you don't have a purpose. So so you just make an appointment, like a clear purpose. For me, I entered Spain uh, for my master program and I'm just gonna find ways to extend my stay here after I finish my master program because honestly, as much as possible, I don't want to go back anymore because I've already started a new life here and I want to continue this. The adjustment was hard in school in the beginning because I, I've been an entrepreneur since I was 16 years old. Like, but um, it was very hard na adjustment from a, an, an entrepreneur to a student. I felt like, oh, I can be something else. I can be someone else. You know, I think you need, the universe really gives you back when you put good things, you know, into the world. Traveling is very sacred for me. Aside from I do it for for a living, I just travel. It is the best thing I'm good at, you know, like in selling, in marketing. I don't know, thank you very much and I hope to see you around. I know this is my purpose, to travel and make people travel. This is why I wrote a book, Meet the World, during the pandemic when I was so sad because I felt like a part of me was taken away from me, you know? And I don't even do traveling for Instagram for photos. I do it for work. I feel like whenever I do it, I find my meaning in life. As much as I used to make with Access Travel, I now rely on my small businesses like Happy Lab, the kombucha business, and my, my podcast, my book, my Seven Continents agenda. But the thing is, I already have peace of mind, you know? I don't need to make the money I used to make with Access Travel to be happy. I am really at this place in my life right now where I can say I'm ready to settle down. And I am, I've done almost everything in my life that I wanted to do. There are still some things that I look forward to. Even I'm still far from my family. I know, you know, this move will be beneficial in the future just in case I want to have kids. For now, I'm very happy. It's the feeling is like you found the one. So na sa akin, pa ba ako? Hindi ko alam. Let's see. For me, Spain is my soulmate. You know, Madrid is my everything. Even I don't speak Spanish, I feel like I am finally home and this is something I've been craving for my entire life. Life in Spain has returned to normal. And I'm very grateful to see it and to leave it and to feel it that I don't have to be 
afraid anymore. Everybody's living a normal life here. Even the old people are all out, riding the public transportation, walking around. So I am very blessed and grateful to have experienced the normalcy, you know, na parang it's, it's, it's normal and I'm very, very grateful for it. Okay, this is my life in Madrid and I love it. I'm in love with it ridiculously as in no regrets at all i love my life and everything i'm doing right now i don't think i will ever regret it it's not easy you have to be prepared mentally emotionally and financially the most important for me is financially you need to have a plan you know a very strategic plan on how you will support your life Life is short, you know, we deserve the best. If you worked hard for it, you also deserve to live it. And I'm living my life because I worked really, really hard for this. And it wasn't given to me by anyone. I worked for it. And I'm very proud of it. I still can't believe that I'm really going to If you have an interesting or inspiring story that you want to share, email us at stories.onlygood at gmail.com. At para wala kayong mamiss na video ng OG channel, subscribe na and hit the notification bell to get updates on our latest episodes.